హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇట్స్ మీ వరుణ్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ లాంగ్ డిస్కషన్ ఆన్ ది టర్మినల్ క్యారెస్టరిస్టిక్స్ ఆఫ్ డిసి షన్ జనరేటర్ ఐ నో ఇట్ వాస్ అ లిటిల్ బిట్ లాంగ్ బట్ ఐఎమ్ ష్యూర్ దట్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ఆల్ దోస్ లెక్చర్స్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ వర్త్ ద టైమ్ అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది కాలేజెస్ ఎస్పెషలీ ప్రైవేట్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ డోంట్ డూ దీస్ డేస్ దీస్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ విచ్ హెల్ప్ యూ బిల్డ్ అప్ యువర్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ టేకన్ అవే క్వైట్ ఫాస్ట్ అండ్ దే డోంట్ పే మచ్ అటెన్షన్ టు ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ బట్ స్టిల్ i have tried my level best to explain all these things to you so if you have not seen those videos i recommend you go and see all those videos a lot of effort has been taken into making all those videos so dc shun generator uh, now it is concluded so as uh, the trend continues so the next one is the dc series generator so as the name suggests a dc series generator is a generator in which the field winding the field winding is connected in series connected in series with the armature in series with the armature okay so let us uh, draw the equivalent circuit now so it is connected in series with the armature circuit, just like in dc series motors so next is the equivalent circuit okay so equivalent circuit let me just draw first the armature part so this is my armature this is the armature resistance all right so as usual this is the armature circuit okay and this is going to be the field circuit now the field you can see it is connected in series in the shunt it was connected like this in series it's going to be connected in series okay so this is your i'll just put it as rf or lf you can put but if you want to just uh, represent it as a series winding to understand it's a series winding you can also call it as rsc and this is also your lf all right so rf lf rsc or lsc okay and so this is your motor okay so this is your dc series motor if you want you can connect a load to this okay the load is not usually part of the equivalent circuit but the dpst switch just tells you that a load can be connected okay so this is your armature circuit till here and this is your field circuit after that okay i think i will remove this load here otherwise some people might get confused and think that the entire thing is the field circuit no so this is the field circuit all right so let us see a little bit about the winding characteristic of the uh, field winding okay so let us uh, look something about the winding characteristic okay winding characteristics okay now if i mark the currents here i didn't mark anything here so this is your ea and the current out of the armature is ia okay and this is your ra yeah so this also will be ia the same current because it's in the series connection will be flowing through the field winding so i can call that as isc and uh, if i connect a load here so i have to connect the load yeah so if i connect a load here so this will become the load circuit and that same isc is going to flow through the load also so here clearly you can see ia is equal to isc is equal to i load all right so that is one part of the equation the next part is vt okay so vt will have no true two drops so ea is the generated voltage there are two resistances in the circuit one is ra and one is the rsc so it is ea minus the drop ira drop so it is ra plus rsc all right now let us look a little bit about the winding characteristics okay first let us see uh how many turns the number of turns in the series winding the number in the sense i am not going to give an exact number but a comparative number now you know that the ia in the series winding is actually equal to the i through the series winding is actually the load current which is a high value okay high value unlike the ish in the shunt winding ish in the shunt winding okay ish is comparatively a lower value as compared to the ia therefore the mmf which is required to create the uh winding sorry not the winding the mmf which is required to create the necessary flux for the machine mmf okay will be equal to n into i so in this case it will be n series multiplied by i series okay which is same as the armature current and same as the load current okay now to produce a comparable mmf as uh, with compared to a shunt machine because isc is a high value you can reduce the number of turns okay that means the turns required to produce a good amount of mmf in a series winding will be very less as compared to a 
turns which is found in a shunt machine why because to produce the same mmf uh, isc is more so for example in the mmf of shunt winding is all is n sh multiplied by ish this current is low so to produce sufficient mmf you have to increase the value of n but here isc itself is quite high so the number of turns will be quite less okay so this will only have a few number of turns okay it will only have a few number of turns as compared to a shunt winding as compared to a shunt winding okay so this is the first part and the second thing which i would like to tell you here is the resistance okay resistance now you know that the current ia is quite high okay current ia is quite high because naturally it's the load current because it's a series winding ia is equal to il that means if uh, the resistance is very high the iara drop would be very high and the vt will have a very uh, less value that means the generator regulation will become very poor okay so you don't want a high resistance so you want a low resistance winding low resistance okay low resistance uh, field winding okay so the series resistance the series resistance will be a low resistance uh, value Okay. Now, for low resistance, what do you need? You know that R is equal to rho L by A. All right. So, if you want uh, less resistance, you have to put more area of cross section. That means the windings will be thick. The windings will be quite thick. The windings will be quite thick to reduce the resistance. To reduce the resistance. All right. So, what are the characteristics of the Uh, series winding one thing is that there are only few turns and next thing is the resistance is low resistance is low that implies the winding will be thick the winding will be a thick winding or the conductors used for the winding will be a thick conductors all right so i'll just put conductors the conductors will be thick okay so and the terminal equations i have already put it here ia is equal to isc is equal to il and vt is equal to ea minus ia r ia into ra plus rsc okay so this is the introduction about the dc series generator so in the next session let us start with the terminal characteristics of the dc series generator which will not be as voluminous as dc shunt generator because you know that in that shunt generator there is that voltage build up process and all and uh, it is a double valued function that's why it took a lot of time series uh, generator terminal characteristics are comparatively very simple and but the applications are very interesting for series generators so we will see that in the next session okay so if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe my channel in case you are having any doubts please put them in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video thank you